Dionysus Park was owned by Sophia Lamb, Chief. Sort of a private retreat for her social experiments. One night it flooded, killing all her guests. Paper said it was cult-related. Come on up to the train station. Let's rendezvous. infiltrated Dionysus Park. His death is our rebirth. The life of the people's daughter is in your hands. Well, I'm in. Yep, yours truly is the newest member of the Rapture family. I fed Wales a line about how the Tribune was stopping me from telling the people what's what. And without a word, he hands me an invite to this artist retreat here at the park. Lamb bought my frustrated novelist act. She's even sponsoring me to ink it while I'm here. Except my story's all about her. And I don't think she's gonna like the way it ends. has no time for a manhunt. Atlas swells the ranks of his marauders by the day. Regardless, Lamb's name has already faded among the people. She is no more than a ghost who has forgotten to die. And you just man out. Fuck you. Some standards. The hounds! Ah! 
She knows precisely how I feel about this celebration of unconscious art. The artist reflects the world as it ought to be, not as it is damned to be by some spasm of the lower mind. I shall not censor. The park is Lamb's property. However, if the case we are building against her proves true, I will return with a sledgehammer. Well, the good news is I've located a new train car, but the station's still locked down, and we're not alone in here. I see a shadow in the security booth. I'll lay low while you have a gander. Oh, hello, boys. The name's Stan Poole, Rapture Tribune. Quality paper. <laughs> before the locals stopped reading and started finding uh, other uses for it. Anyway, I'm uh, looking to cut a deal, fellas. Come by the train station. I'm here in the booth. I found her. Found Cindy. By this... this rusted carousel. But she was just standing there. Staring, waiting for the music, and she doesn't even recognize me. What have they done to her? Listen to her. The man in the moon is a girl, Mr. Bubbles. Listen, if anyone hears this, I have to know how to cure her. I... No, get back. She's my little girl. Donna, listen, there's a hell of a structural flaw here in Dionysus Park. A leak in the primary drainage pipeline could flood this whole joint. Faulty pressure locks would seal in every sorry soul. One clumsy big daddy knocks open the wrong pipe and, hey presto, Lamb's little art show turns into Fish City. God forbid the wrong element finds out. Dionysus Park was my home, Delta. 
an experiment in social unity cut short by human folly. You dishonor its memory with every step. Now that, see, Lamb knows you're here, but I'm incognito. Thing is, since you drained out the park, the little sisters are already starting to, uh, nose around, looking for Adam, and, uh, I can't have that. Okay, so dead men tell no tales, right? <laughs> Wrong. See, with Adam involved, every stiff's got a story. And Lamb knows how to read it. If that stuff makes it back to her, I'm an obituary. So, I want you to take the story of Dionysus Park and bury it. Get rid of the little sisters for me. Your way. Do that, and I'll unlock the station here. <laughs> Scout's honor. Well, I'd say he's hiding something, but he sort of took the fun out of that one. He's locked in the security booth, however, so we'll have to play along. Find those sisters. Ryan's cronies can move in, and I can finally 
stop holding my breath. Awareness of self is no miracle, Eleanor. It is a trick of the gene, an endless inner refrain asking, what's in it for me? To serve the world, we must grow deaf to the self. Are you ready? Now, stop listening to my voice. Stop listening. Stop. Difficult, isn't it? Human verbal cues are defensive coloration, camouflage. Play this recording until you no longer hear the words. Then you may observe the people for who they are. See? You put it to work, and all that Adam ends up in you. But you're sort of a silent partner, so that's tops with me. We found Adam, Daddy. You're stealing! I can smell it! Let's fix your face, baby! Angels remember, so we remember! Ah! 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 At least read our pamphlet. 
here. Normally, only a little sister can see them, but I can show you what Stanley is trying to hide. When Mother was taken away, Stanley was left in charge of Dionysus Park. He spent all her money through these mad parties. It was like he was trying to ruin her. You okay there? Keep your eye on the brass ring, brother. Find the rest of the sisters. Subject Delta is just a serial number, amigo. I did a lot of digging on you for a feature once. They used to call you Johnny Topside. Found the city all on your own in a diving bell. Real shame what they did to you. Yeah. 
You mistake my nature, Delta. I wish no Adam for myself. Eleanor is the dream, and she needs neither weapons nor parlor tricks. I have a new goddamn face. Who'd have thought? Rapture. Paradise of the confidence man. I gotta keep revising the Atlas voice. I figure the accent gives me an excuse to lock myself in a room with a bottle and count the cash. War's on in full now, boy. And I've got a hell of a surprise for Andrew Ryan. Long time coming. And right about now, I expect the prodigal son is booking his flight.
There she is. Get her. I hope that bodyguard ain't want me a long walk. So, Ryan's goons are sweating me to prove this place is a closet commune. But I need time. Lamb's kid keeps staring me down like she knows that I'm a phony. I keep thinking of Johnny Topside, though. It took real guts to find Rapture like he did. It makes it easier not to crack if I sort of imagine that I'm him. It's a good thing I can't tell Lamb that, though. She'd probably say I got a secret need to fall into his arms and make a wild whoopee or something.
me there. I confronted Stanley, said I'd tell mother what he had done. He panicked, took me away and sold me to an orphanage. I tried to fight back. I remember biting his hand, but father, he's the reason I was turned into a little sister. Rapture Delta, the finest minds of paradise in a single sublime mosaic, Eleanor. Consider the genius you deny her with every stolen drop. Now, you were just a deep sea explorer with iron cojones, pal. The public gave it a nickname, but Ryan was sure you were a spook, so his people locked you up. Erased your damn name. Goodbye, Johnny Topside. Hello, Subject Delta. When all this is over and we're divvying up Rapture's bounty, you and I'll be holding court on a private island, son. Think of it, each world power on bended knee, holding a bouquet made of money. The girls you've saved from mother want to thank you. Check the gatherer's garden.
summon a swarm of insects. Laugh as they seek out hidden enemies. Adam, Eleanor will become the daughter of the people, a true utopian, brilliant beyond measure, but utterly selfless. As she ascends, Delta, you and I will seem as dogs, circling and snarling amid the afterbirth. learn to play poker, Eleanor. Like anyone, I am flawed and have a fierce genetic bias towards competition. But each Saturday, I read the other players, and I pick a man who will benefit the most from victory. By the final hand, I ensure that he takes home my entire stake and that of the others. I win nothing but the feeling of conquest over myself and the wealth of my competitors is slowly reshuffled according to their need.
She is. Little Tyke wants to be in pictures. Real cute. Now get rid of the muscle and deal with her. Be hungry. A the genius of Sophia Lamb is a thing of empathy, a profound moral sense. I can only describe her as a kind of secular saint. But dividing her loyalty evenly across the world at large spreads it so thin as to be invisible to some. Love, I have found, is beneath her. Naturally, Ryan arrested her, gave her to Sinclair to incarcerate somewhere. But upon her escape, she took the city and changed my life forever. Judas. One of my own people has been 
been feeding Ryan evidence of my activities. And now I am to be detained. As a religion, they merely monitored us. But as a commune, they would see us crucified. And yet, though he will be the last to see it, Andrew Ryan has already lost the people. Wherever I am sent, Rapture will follow. sisters are getting older, which is troubling. As they reach adolescence, they become aggressive, feral. Worse, the atom they ingest contains traces of lethal plasmids left over from the wall. The splicers are becoming far more effective predators as well. Our big daddies are falling left and right. Perhaps, perhaps the elder sisters could be trained to sniff out the lost Adam and reclaim it for us. Yes, from what I've seen, they certainly wouldn't have to wait for the culprit to die. Mother's followers turn into animals. When word came that she was returning, he knew they would blame him. So he found a way to silence them all. 
and now he's trying to cover it up. That's it. Now all that old dirt stays underground, and Lamb will be none the wiser. Hey, come on back. I've unlocked the train for you. But remember, if Lamb catches you, <laughs> mum's the word. Delta, our conflict of interest seems to be upsetting Eleanor. For her sake, I have made it clear to these men that you are not to suffer. I accept full responsibility for any anger you may experience before you die. Doc Lamb's turning up the heat, Chief. Head on back to the train station. Let's hit the trail. Subject Delta, I have known for years of Stanley's betrayal here, and had forgiven him. But in compromising Ellen now, he seals his fate. You see, it was Stanley who turned you into Ryan. He is responsible for what you have become. The security booth is open now. You may have your revenge. Sweet Jesus. Lamb knew? And she just let me hang myself out the... Oh, God. No, no, no. Come on, pal. The, the, the train's ready. Just... Just let me live. So, Lamb broke out, and she's coming back. 
Wow. Okay. Didn't see that coming, but... Okay. Oh, that is gonna be... Oh, what am I gonna do? And I... I've heard some of these... A lot of these people down here talking. Some of them, I know, saw the thing with Eleanor and... Mother's not lying this time, Father. He really did it. To both of us. So, Lamb broke out, and she's coming back. Wow. Okay. Didn't see that coming, but... Okay. Oh, that is gonna be... Oh, what am I gonna do? And I... I've heard some of these... A lot of these people down here talking. Some of them, I know, saw the thing with Eleanor, and who knows who knows what. You can't just stop, you know, a whole cult from from talking, can you? Well, maybe you can. Yeah. Maybe you can.